Hello, and welcome to the new Delubal tutorial video. In this video, we will show you how to model a parametric space truss structure in Rhino and Grasshopper and export the results to RFEM6. First, we create a point using the construct point component from the vector tab. Afterwards, we copy this point twice by holding down the ALT key and dragging the components. For the second, we set up a range to the X coordinate, for example, from 1 to 50. We then enter WIDTH for this slider name. We would like to set the third point in the middle of these two points, but with variable height. The x value has to be the x value of the second point divided by 2. To do that, we insert the division component from the maths tab. Now, we connect a to the number slider. For b, we enter 2 using the panel command. Afterwards, we set up a new range for the z-coordinate, for example, from 0 to 10. After that, we enter height for this slider name. In the next step, we create a curve from these points using the interpolate component. You can find it in the Curve tab. Afterwards, we plug the three points into this command. Make sure you use the right order, as shown here. We can also define the curve degree using the Number Slider command. We set up a new range between 1 and 5. Next, we copy this curve in the Y direction using the Move component. We also insert the unit vector parallel to the y-axis component. Now we set up a new range, for example, from 1 to 100. Then we enter length for this slider name. After that, we create a surface through these two curves using the loft component. You can find it in the surface tab. Then we connect these curves to the curves in the loft component. In the next step, we create a space truss structure on a surface using the space truss structure 1 component. You can find it in the Lunchbox tab. Then we plug the loft component into the surface in this component. We also need to set the divisions in this surface in the U and V directions. For this, we set up new ranges, for example, from 1 to 20 for both directions. After that, we set up a new range for the truss depth, for example, from 0 to 5.
Next, we put all the number slider commands together in a group to control all the parameters easily. Then we enter parameters for this group name. We can see which lines exist in these options using the line command. Now we assign members to these lines using the member component in the Delubal tab. Then we connect the lines for the upper and lower chords to the grasshopper line in the member component. In the next step, we define the cross section using the section component in the Delubal tab. Then we enter number 1 for the cross-section number. And CHS 82.5 times 5 for the section name. Afterwards, we define the material using the Material component in the Delubal tab. Then we enter number 1 for the material number. And S355 for the material name. For the remaining members, we assign another cross-section. Therefore, we copy both the member and the section components. We have to change the section number to 2. And the section name to 76.1 times 5. Next, we transfer these model data to RFEM6. We have to insert the RFEM6 export component, Delubal component from the Delubal tab. To start the export, we use the Boolean toggle command. We will also overwrite the previous data in RFEM by using the Boolean toggle command and switching it to true. After connecting all the components to the RFEM6 component, we double click the Boolean toggle command to perform the export.
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.